Caltech Summer Preview. So my name is Marianne Bronner and I'm a professor at Caltech. I've been here about 16 years and I'm working on lots of different projects. I have a lab full of people who are working on different aspects of uh, mostly developmental biology, how uh, different cells in an embryo make different decisions as to what to become, and basically trying to understand how the early nervous system forms in us, in humans. I think I was always interested in science from the time I was very little. My father is an engineer and he um, instilled in me the desire to learn lots about physical sciences. So I sort of had a, my background in uh, studying was very much like a Caltech background. Um, and so I learned physics, chemistry, math, and I just was fascinated by all of it. Um, when I went to graduate school, I actually chose a field called biophysics because I sort of couldn't decide what to specialize in. <laughs> so, and biophysics combined everything. So I, I went to the, into a program knowing very little biology. Uh, I had never took, taken a biology course other than biochemistry when I was in college. So then when I was in, in college, I had to take some sort of background courses in biology, and I had this one teacher who taught developmental biology, and he was a very good teacher. And I just, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I took this class, and I just said, that's what I want to work on, and I have been doing it ever since. There weren't so many women doing what I did at the time, uh, so I, I think it was really in graduate school when I learned about the research that was being done by one particular woman who, who was very prominent in the field that I'm in now, um, that had a big influence on my life. I heard this, this woman who lives in France, and is now, she's in her 80s, but she's very, even still, extremely prominent and travels all over the world and works for the Colors de France. And, I thought the experiments she was doing were fantastic. She gave a seminar and I just thought, wow, that's what I want to be. And you know what? That's what I did and that's what I am. So, so she had a big influence even though I didn't really know her. So I think it's important to have people that you look up to and you, know, you, you want to emulate even if they're not really your exact mentors. The thing I like best is mentoring the people who work for me. I think I do a pretty good job of, of getting the best out of everybody or just about, and I take great satisfaction in seeing the people that study with me be successful and start their own careers and sort of do what I, I'm recreating myself many, many times. That's what I think is the most fun. Yeah. Of course, the questions we work on are also really exciting. And so, like today, I was working with one of my postdocs, and we're revising a paper that, that we hope is going to get in, in, into print pretty soon. And that's always so much fun because you can just sort of see the results of, of your work, you know, in front of you on paper or mm -hmm. at least online. <laughs> always do what you like doing, and not don't do what other people want you to do. So, what the most important thing is that you know if you're in a Science is not easy, and you have to find your inner motivation. You never want to do something because your, you know, your teachers tell you to do it, or because your mom and dad tell you to do it. Just do. You have to find your passion, and once you find that passion, then it, it, it's no longer a job. It's, you know, it's basically you're doing something you love, and you want to always want to be doing something that you really enjoy, and that's what makes life fulfilling. People are always trying to plan their lives out at mm -hmm. every step of the way. I, this is one of the things I see in the younger generation. Don't plan. Just do what you like at the time, and that will usually carry you forward to the next step. So don't worry so much about I think people worry too much about their future and carving out exactly the right road. Um, I've found that life is pretty much a random walk, <laughs> and just make sure you're walking in a direction that keeps you happy.